Let's run through one with taps. Here we have transformer number 40. And uh, with this one, you can see that we have a, a system voltage of 13,800. Three phase four wire, it's a, it's a Y system. Our phase to phase value is 13,800 volt, which is our system voltage. Divide that by 1.73 and we'll have the phase to ground, which is 7970. Down below from our transformer rating, it tells us that if we have 7200 volt, we will connect delta. If we have a 12470 system, we would connect Y. Now, we don't have either one of those. We have 13800, but we do have taps rated A through E. If you'll remember that this transformer can be connected to values plus or minus 10%, and that the C is a 100%. Now, if we had a 12470 system up above, we would connect it on the C, but we don't. So the tap that we would use would be calculated by taking the value that we've got, which is 13800, divided by what we want, which is 12470, and if we get that, we'll connect it Y. We'll still be going phase to ground. But we'll take what we've got, 13,800, divide it by what we want, which is 12,470. If we divide that out, take it times 100, we would come out with 110%. 110%, if you'll remember, when we went over taps, was A. So we'll indicate this as being placed on tap A. We would have to actually get in that transformer, or from the outside, depending on what kind of a transformer you've got we would have set that transformer under no load now at tap A. If we do that, then we'll have a new rating. We're changing the ratio of that transformer. So we still have to connect up Y. We're matching up to our, uh, to our uh, coil voltage of 7970. So we know that we're going to have a coil voltage of 7970. We're going to connect up Y on the high side. On the low side, we want 243 phase 3 wire. We know that that's going to be a power load only. Our low side is rated 120, 240 volt. That means then that we have to connect our internal connections on this transformer. We have to connect them up by uh, series. So it's going to look like this. It's an additive transformer, H1. H2, X1, X2, X3. We'll ground out our tub. On the low side, we want delta standard. Least possible displacement on a wide delta is 30 degrees. So we will have a situation where we'll have a diagram on the low side that will look like this. Our A is going to be at this point, and then B and C three wire, that means one of these is grounded, and according to our schematic, we've got C grounded, so we'll ground that. And remember that any one of the three could be grounded if you wanted it. Okay, we can identify our transformer numbers, T1, T2, T3. There again, you see it doesn't make any difference where we go with them. Our polarity doesn't make any difference as long as they correspond. Let's ground out the high side and then we'll put our neutral in the center we'll go h1's all on the outside and our h2 inside polarity on the low side has to be in the same direction so we'll have x1 x3 x1 x3 x1 x3 corresponding transformers this would be t1 this would be t2 and this would be t3 Connect up the high side the same way. Okay, we want to ground out our tub right off the bat. Okay, our H2s are all tied together and grounded. And of course, if we floated them with a delta low side, we could have floated them. I probably should have used one as an example. But uh, in this case, you see, we would, uh, I've got it drawn to the ground. I better put it on there. Okay, our uh, transformer one goes to A. Our transformer number two down here goes to B. We'll move that to B, and then of course the other one goes to C. Follow our diagram down below for 
our connection again, our transformer number one, X1, goes to A. X3 goes to B. Transformer two, X1 goes to B. TX3 goes to our neutral, or our C, like this. X1 on 3 goes to the same place. And then we're coming right back where we started from, or back to A again. And we have our high side connected. Okay, now you see we've got our grounded corner, so that's a three wire. We would only be using that for a power load. Okay. Up here, uh, phase to neutral, you see we've got 240 volt. B to our neutral is 240. C to our neutral. And of course they're tied together, so that'd be zero. And our phase to phase is 240 volt. For our primary coil voltage, now the voltage on the transformer is a voltage that is our coil voltage. So we're gonna be using not the rating down here. Make sure you don't grab this rating and use that. You're gonna use the voltage is actually on that transformer. The coil voltage is 7970 volt. The coil current there again, now it's a Y connection. I want to keep that in mind. Now we're going to have three then uh, at uh, okay, we're going to have three at 6.3 amp. It's a Y connection, so we'll have the same line current as we do coil current, 6.3 amp. And of course, multiply that times 1.25. We'll have three fuses at 7.9 amp. And there again, you would pick a fuse that would be close to that value, or as close to that value as you can get. And with that, we have our high side and low side connection made for our transformer problem number 40.